Hey guys, welcome to The Market is Open. Check out our website, themarketisopen.com. Today we're going to look at some speculation around Tesla's battery day. There's some news that a small battery company with an apparent breakthrough technology has relocated itself next to Tesla's headquarters. They're working on something called silicon nanowires. So we're going to talk a bit about their technology and what this could mean for Tesla. Elon Musk will be hosting Battery Day very soon when it comes up on September 22nd, so in less than a month from now, and people are working hard to try to figure out what Tesla may have in store. So let's have a look at this potential preview for Tesla's Battery Day. But before we begin, please hit the bell button to subscribe and be notified of upcoming Tesla videos and smash the like button to help support this video. We'd super appreciate that. You can also support us further on Patreon at patreon.com slash the market is open, where we give a shout out to our patrons at the end of each video. So let's start with a brief look at Tesla's stock price. The shares have been running up like crazy, and there are a lot of tailwinds for the company right now, including the upcoming stock split, which will take place at the beginning of next week. For some reason, Tesla stock has skyrocketed since that announcement. Also guys, stop using Yahoo Finance and start using our website where we have instant stock quotes and when you click on the dollar sign up here, we show the raw company financials going back 9 years and it's all free. Yahoo Finance only goes back 4 years and they don't actually show you the financial data as reported by each company. Now Tesla stock was very recently crowded with short sellers and probably still is. And these guys have gotten absolutely crushed in the mother of all short squeezes. However, more importantly, because it actually affects Tesla's business, is the most exciting day in the company's history according to Elon Musk, which is Tesla's Battery Day event. People are likely trying to get into Tesla ahead of this event, and Tesla is expected to release some breakthrough battery technology and or a battery manufacturing breakthrough which will speed up battery production. Batteries are Tesla's main bottleneck and constraint right now. However, we've seen many hints including the fact that Elon Musk tweeted that he is open to supplying other companies with batteries, which doesn't make a lot of sense if Tesla is battery constrained. But since Elon knows more than we do about his own company and what's in the pipeline, Tesla may have big plans in store to boost battery production and relieve some of these constraints. Now Tesla is looking to improve battery technology in multiple ways. Electric cars are now at par and in many ways even better than their gas-powered counterparts. However, as Tesla looks towards further increases in efficiency, performance, longevity, new battery technology will be required, and Tesla has been working on this for quite some time. We've been talking about the million mile battery which Elon Musk stated in 2018 that Tesla would have in a few years time, which is right around now. Also, energy density and specific energy are two important factors relating to reducing the weight and size of batteries and being able to store as much energy as possible in the battery cells and battery pack. This is not only important for more affordable cars and longer range in your Model Y for example, but advances in battery technology are also key for enabling new products that don't exist today. For one thing, I'm excited about the Tesla Semi. It's a commercial product of course, not really for consumers. However, this vehicle is basically impossible to affordably create without advances in battery tech. When Tesla first announced the Semi, everyone laughed at them, like other companies, saying that it was impossible. However, Tesla has the best view of its own product roadmap, and they could basically see this battery day coming years in advance. So with the battery being the most expensive part of the vehicle, and for a large truck like the Tesla Semi, it needs to have enough power and range to actually be useful for customers. And so I've been saying that I think whatever Tesla is working on for battery day will likely first go into the Semi because it's lower volume and requires higher performance. I don't think you'll see all of this technology that they're going to be announcing right away in the Model 3 and Model Y for example, especially in the US. There are some clauses in Tesla's deal with Panasonic that Model 3 and likely Model Y must be made using Panasonic batteries in the United States. However, I think we'll see Tesla's own technology being used in other vehicles perhaps like the Semi, Roadster, and maybe even the Cybertruck. Now let's move on to this tweet by Mars Catalog, the whole Mars Catalog, who noted that a small company called Amprius has conveniently located itself next to Tesla's headquarters. They appear to be working on a technology called silicon nanowires. Now why is this important? One of the limiting factors of traditional lithium-ion batteries is that you can only fit so much lithium into a given space, and the battery's anodes are made out of graphite. Elon Musk has called the lithium-ion battery that Tesla is using more of a nickel-graphite battery given that the amount of nickel and graphite is actually higher than lithium. 
However, it's been known that silicon material can store more energy than carbon or graphite, which is made of carbon. However, the reason why we don't use silicon in batteries is that it swells up like crazy when it's being charged up. Silicon, by the way, is a very cheap and abundant material, so it would be great if silicon could be used. However, because it expands so much, the battery itself starts to crack and then stop working. So what Amprius has been working on is using nanotechnology techniques to create these tiny silicon nanowires, as they call them, and they're extremely thin. When they take up the lithium, they still expand, but the nanotechnology, which I guess is Amprius's secret sauce, prevents the battery from cracking, so it's a revolutionary manufacturing technique. So according to Amprius, this has some key advantages. They say that because it's using 100% silicon, they can therefore provide the highest energy density batteries in the world today. The batteries made using this tech have high conductivity so they can deliver power when it's needed, for example, perhaps when you accelerate in your future Roadster. And they also say that they have excellent cycle life, meaning that batteries last a long time, you can charge and discharge it frequently without degrading the battery. And that's where something like a million mile battery would come from. You can see here that Amprius's cells can be made smaller and lighter according to the company versus other methods. And you'll notice that they show silicon nanowires being just above 400 watt hours per kilogram as shown on the bottom scale. So keep this number in mind. So this would be an important breakthrough if it could get out of the lab. The problem with most so-called breakthrough battery technologies is that they stay in the lab and never reach production. The reason for this, which Elon Musk alludes to all the time, is that it's easy to make one of something, but mass producing it could be orders of magnitude more difficult. And so if the manufacturing process involves some rare or expensive metals or some difficult manufacturing technique, then it simply can't get out of the lab. And so one of the things that may have intrigued Tesla, assuming that Tesla has some sort of affiliation with this company, is that they appear to have a way of reaching volume production for this type of battery. Of course, volume production for them may be different than volume production for Tesla. But to me, it actually seems similar to Maxwell Technologies, the battery company that Tesla purchased, because not only do they say they have a battery, but also a method of manufacturing it, which is really what Tesla is interested in. And it would be interesting if this were the case and Tesla worked with this company, if they could use Maxwell Technology to help make better production lines for volume production of this type of battery. So let's switch over to what Sam Corris from ARK Invest had to say about this. ARK Invest has done some amazing work on Tesla, and we've been following what Kathy Wood, ARK CEO, had to say about Tesla, and Sam Corris focuses on EVs and energy storage research at ARK Invest. He points out that Elon Musk has mentioned in the past that electric planes start to become viable once you hit 400 watt hours per kilogram, and that was the key number I told you to keep in mind from before. He also says that it could add more range, reduce weight, and make your car more competitive and cheaper to produce. But really, it could enable an entirely new product, an electric plane. The promotion. Thank you very much. You know, Thank hey, you. Those Merlin Thank engines you. are fantastic. Oh, Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Good idea for an electric jet. You do. Yeah. Then we'll make Elon Musk actually replies to the thread with Sam Corris, saying that volume production for 400 watt hours per kilogram may be available in volume in three to four years. Again, Elon Musk has a clearer roadmap than the rest of us, and his predictions for battery technology have been quite good. But it should be noted that if Amprius's silicon nanowires can deliver 400 watt hours per kilogram, then it's still three or four years away. And therefore, it won't be the main topic of discussion at the upcoming battery day, like it's not something near term. Or if they do talk about this, then it will be forward looking. So I don't think that this is what the main announcement is going to be for battery day. I think that battery day is going to be something more near term that's required for Tesla Semi and the rest of the current product roadmap. And also if people are expecting 400 watt hours per kilogram to be announced and produced right now, I think they're going to be disappointed and the stock will sell off after the battery day news is delivered. Investors always buy the rumor, sell the news, and battery day is the news. Nonetheless, according to Amprius, they say that their batteries are approaching 500 watt hours per kilogram and one of their current applications is for a VTOL aircraft, a vertical takeoff and landing vehicle, which is something that Elon Musk has said multiple times before. So it looks like, battery day or not, this still may be exciting news, even if it's not imminent for the company. In a couple of years, Tesla could begin working on a new product for their portfolio, which will finally be the VTOL jet that Elon Musk has been talking about. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please hit the like button. We'd super appreciate that. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel and be notified of upcoming Tesla videos. 
And if you want to support us further, visit our Patreon at patreon.com slash the market is open, where we give a shout out to our patrons at the end of each video. Thanks so much for watching.